If you're like most kids these days, you use a smartphone and you use it often. But should smartphones go to middle school? That's a tricky one. Are kids developmentally ready for a phone at that age? What are the long-term impacts? Yeah, big questions many parents are asking for the first time. And Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski is going 360 so you can decide what's best for your family. It's the heartbeat of a generation. But beyond the sounds, endless likes and instant gratification. I don't think any of us knew or could have predicted exactly how addictive these phones were going to be. There's a bigger question parents are grappling with. What happens when this becomes more important than this? It's not the focus of our lives. Angela Tapp says kids live on their phones as is, and she questions whether having them in middle school classrooms disrupts learning. My biggest fear is we don't understand the impact of the smartphone just yet. That's just one reason. She's calling for an all out ban in her school district. This is a petition. It's called no, no cell phones in Jefferson's County Middle Schools. Tapp says her opposition isn't just the unknown impact, but the unneeded distraction too. I don't believe there's a place for them. There's lots of data that, re that reports that even the feeling of a vibration on your hip when you're taking a test can lower test scores. Sophomore Ashley Piper understands that viewpoint. People just get distracted by it if it buzzes or something and then takes away from the learning. A fair point, some agree, but an all out ban in Jeffco Middle Schools. Angela says yes, because she doesn't want kids like hers who won't have phones to be stigmatized. They've never had one before and we are thrown into the idea of do we need a smartphone to be socially and academically uh, successful. Other parents see the issue through a completely different lens. And they ask Siri how to spell words, so it's useful. Parents like Jen Casper say the phone is a great tool in an age in which encyclopedias and dictionaries are as easy to find as rotary phones and, well, phone books. But there are more important reasons, she says. I need my kids to have their phones because for me it's it's easier and it's a convenience. Even more importantly, Casper says her kids can reach her if they need help. Let's go back to our student Ashley who shares that point of view and says at the end of the day, that's why she's against the ban. I just like to have it, even if I'm not on it, it just, I like to have it just in case something happens. But Angela says that's yet another reason for a ban. Kids snapping, chatting, and tweeting during a lockdown or school shooting, she says, can hurt more than it helps. We have seen indication that students can flood the cell phones and really take down the communications that they need in a time of crisis. Back to Jen, who says all opinions aside, the issue should be cut and dry. As she's my child, and I should make the decision, not the school. So where does the school administration come down on this one? Talking about getting rid of cell phones or severely limiting cell phone use in our schools would be a pretty heated discussion. Diana Wilson with Jeffco Schools says she's heard the many arguments for and against the ban, and the district is just trying to find the right balance. There are definite risks. As a school district, we think it's definitely the positives outweigh the negatives. And with that, the administration is leaving the decision to the middle school principals, who they say know what's best for their campuses. There's one more point of view worth exploring. Emily Markeski is a psychologist with Children's Hospital Colorado. And we're learning a lot from the mistakes and the good choices made by this parenting generation. Markeski says she understands all points of view, but adds, we just don't know how nonstop phone time is impacting our kids. It really depends so significantly on the developmental and maturity level of each individual kid. Which brings us back to why TAB wants a ban, until we know more about the impacts of this heartbeat of a generation. They're working diligently on getting you to stay on the phone, and until we kind of get a handle on how that's impacting our young people, that's a real direct impact to my family. Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.